Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, I want to share something really very, very special with you and something amazing. Today is my amazing dad's birthday and I am so overjoyed to just celebrate my dad. And you know what? This, this life has been so blessed to me and the Lord has blessed me with such incredible parents. They really, really have. I love my mum and my dad so much. Words fail me how much they mean to me. And when it's their birthdays, I absolutely explode. It's almost like it's my birthday. Um, so I always try to shower them with gifts and uh, really try to do a really nice celebration and try to get them out for the day or, or do something nice or go for a lovely meal. Sometimes I've even sent them on holiday and I've been able to do that with my brothers and things before. Um, this year, my mum went away uh, for her birthday. Her very She had a milestone birthday, so a very big birthday. Um, so her and my father got to spend uh, a really lovely time in Cyprus, which was very, very lovely, which um, I helped organized to do that and this time my father hasn't gone away for his birthday but we have done it at home and uh yeah it's been really really lovely so so far we've we've been out we've had a really nice time we've actually gone out and done some christmas shopping today and um we went out and uh, had a really lovely uh meal and that was really very nice and it was so nice just for me to be able to sat at, uh, sit at the table with my mum and my dad we have such a hectic and busy life and busy family and my parents are always busy with my mum's busy with sorting everybody out in the family and running the house and with everything what comes with that and then um helping my my brother with my uh with my niece or if it's not that it's different things what she's doing and just constantly busy and very very hectic and with my father he's with work busy with work and very soon he's going to be looking at retirement and and yeah it's just constantly busy there's always something going on we have a very busy hectic family home um but wouldn't change it for the world very very magical very very special and um i've been i've i've grew up in an absolute blessed environment and uh grew up on my mum and dad's love and uh yeah it's 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 really really special and they're very very special to me they're friends to me they're very very they're very close they're very very dear to me so yeah they're best mates so it's really really lovely and for an amazing day like today being my father's birthday i am so privileged to be able to spend the day with him i took the day off um as i do every year um and I try to do it with my parents. I try to take the time off. And if they're not, if they're away on holiday, then sometimes I, I still do. And I still like to sort of do like a bit of a, uh, like a, a bit of a toast, sort of a momentous sort of, sort of afternoon. Perhaps I'll treat myself or, or whoever's here if they're away or anything like that. So, um, always try to mark the occasion, which I, I love to do. Um, but yeah, my, my parents, oh, they are incredible. They really, really are. I love them to pieces. Um, yeah, and 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 you know what? That I, if someone says to me, who who are they to you? Well, do you know what? The easiest way to be able to do this is if if they're not around, I'm not me. That's as simply as it is. It really, really is. And um, if there's a tricky situation or a difficult situation, and mum and dad aren't around, then yeah, I even just like to. Now I have recently turned thirty. I like to still go through things with them. I like to talk it out to them, even though I may have made my decision on whatever it is I'm choosing to do or what's going on. I like to talk it out with them. And then when I've talked it out with them, whether it be mum or dad or together, usually together, over a glass of something nice of a, of a, a Friday evening or a Saturday evening, and um, and usually I'll, and I'll talk them through something or if I'm a bit worried about something, I'll go to dad or I'll go to mum or I'll go out for lunch with mum or I'll spend some time with dad in the garden and, um, and I'll talk it all out. And you know what? Just the look from my father, just that smile to think, do you know what? Brad, you're going to be okay. You've got this. You've absolutely got this. Just means the absolute world. My dad is always calm. He's always composed. He's sometimes a little bit, um, a bit fiery in temper. My dad is, uh, he is an ex-serviceman for the Royal Navy, which I'm so, so proud of. He spent many, many years of service and, um, he's very proud of that. So I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of my mum and dad with, through everything what they have achieved and i always say if i could achieve half of what they've done then i would be extremely successful they have built such a wonderful home such a wonderful family and yeah it's really it's really great it really really is and um it's just amazing and you know with so much awfulness which goes on around this world and you hear different things happen and and loved ones have lost have been lost and and families have been broken and things i try to count my blessings every single day just because of how blessed i am in this life now i know for a lot of us sometimes if we have pressured lives and hectic lives some people don't see their parents all the time 
I'm very, very privileged. I see my parents every single day. And if I didn't, it would make me feel very, very uncomfortable. So for me, just having that presence there all the time, it's just absolutely, it is a blessing. It truly is a blessing. My father, for me, if there is a problem, no problem is too small, no problem is too large. It is, it, it's just, if, if dad's around, it's always going to be fine. That's what I'm going to say. It's always going to be fine. And if it's for advice or if it, I mean, growing up, for example, and I don't just mean throughout schooling, mum and dad were always, for example, if it was English homework or anything like that, I thought it would be mum. If it was maths, it would be dad. And that would be like sort of in the early years. And as we got older and different things, we didn't need so much help with it because I'm one of a twin. Um, but they would always be there for encouragement and, and, and helping us make the right decisions. Not controlling, not at all, but just that sort of, um, that guidance, that soft guidance. But, um, and even now though, even with my brothers, because I'm one of four, um, even my brothers now, I mean, I'm 30. My eldest brother is soon to be in a couple of weeks turning 40. Then next down, 38. And then of course I'm one of a twin. Um, and all of us now, if dad says something or if dad asks of something, it's, it's like literally straight away, it's done. <laughs> it's done. And the same with mum, absolutely. But, um, yeah, do you know what? When I talk about my parents, honestly, um, I just glow. And yeah, it just brings me that fuzzy feeling. Do you know what? This world is such a special world and such an incredible world. And some people haven't been blessed with what I've got. And I truly do appreciate that. And I'm thankful every single day. Um, and I'm always there for them. I'm always there for them. I try to help them out with different things always. And I mean, from physical things, sort of helping out in the garden or helping them around in the house or whether it be preparing for, uh, for example, the Christmas season coming up. So many, we always go all out at Christmas and helping with the preparations and one thing or another. And I try to help my parents all the time, whether it just be small things. And then recently, I, I done a really big special gift for them. Um, and and I've got to be a bit careful on my channel just because I've, I've had um, I kind of a few comments and things through at me about being a little bit spoilt and um, and about money and things like that, one through another. But, you know, I've worked hard. I grew up in my my parents worked incredibly hard and um, they were able to provide us a very, very privileged life and grow and up bringing and I've, and I've been to some incredible countries around the world and I've had some many incredible holidays and many wonderful memories and and yes it's it's been wonderful and I'm so so grateful to them and thankful for that um and it's just that unconditional love and that support and and always being there so I thought to myself do you know what my my parents have both had recently a milestone birthday and I thought to myself do you know what? I want to do something special for them but mum and dad were always, my, my father's garden is his absolute world and he has uh, several ponds and different pathways and it's and it's built on sort of like a, a Mediterranean style with fern trees and different colour, uh, brightly coloured plants and absolutely it's like a jungle I and mean, it's on, it's built on different levels um, and you've got little different gardens and things and one thing or another and uh, the one thing to really, uh, to take it off my parents' home um, I always try to do like a, a project for them. So, for example, one time they went away, I revamped the lounge and I got all that sorted with new carpets and one thing or another and new lighting. And this time they, when they recently went away, I had some new lighting uh, fitted in the dining room. And um, and then I had somebody round uh, for a quotation. And what I've actually done for their milestone birthdays and for their 40th wedding anniversary this year is I have replaced their conservatory um it's a beautiful conservatory now but it is it's older it is older so the efficiency and the security isn't isn't top notch there and uh for energy efficiency i know my mum and dad have been talking about sort of top of the range glass and in solar this and one thing or another and um and with increasing the security and thing uh things with it so I had the quote round from a company and I secretly all behind their back um I done this and I presented this to them on their return as a gift. Um, and honestly, the look, I think my mum was in tears. My father was pretty much surely behind as well in the same way. Um, but you know, it felt so amazing to be able to do that. Um, now, I'm not saying that somebody would have to do something as lavish as that. I wanted to do that for many, many years and I've worked really hard to be able to do that. Um, and you may think, why am I telling all this on my channel? Because I want to talk about how incredible my parents are and I want to talk about how incredible family is and what they mean to me. Um, and you know what? My channel is very much a virtual diary. It really does help me. And I often think that we don't talk enough about 
just something as when we say, we, we often take for granted that parents and grandparents and loved ones are always in our lives there consistently, but nobody knows what's going to happen. And I don't want to turn this onto a morbid sort of track, but do you know what? We don't. So I cherish every single moment. I really, really do. Um, and I thought, you know what? Let's do this. And I went ahead and I done it. So that was part of Dad's uh, gift, birthday gift as well. So we've had a really lovely meal out today. And um, I reminded them about the next uh, visit uh, for the surveyor now to um, do the finishing, finishing touches and things. So that's going to be incredible. And that's going to be happening just after Christmas. And um, and I know my mum and dad are completely welled up at that. And they and they treated me to a lovely gift as well today. And um, and yeah, do you know what? It's been so so special. And shortly after this, we're gonna um, we're gonna come together with a few light bites and a, and a glass of something nice. And uh, yeah, and toast my dad's birthday. And um, yeah, but my my parents, best friends to me, absolutely they are. And at that parent table in my heart is my dear nan as well, which is my mum's mum. So I've been very privileged in this life, very very blessed. Um, and yeah, I love them so so much. And as I say, when when my dad's always around, I just know that it's always going to be okay. If mum's not around here, um, wherever she may be, um, with whatever she's doing, the house just doesn't have a heart. It just does not have a heart. It doesn't feel warm. It doesn't feel home. And if dad's around, you know, it's just always going to be okay. So between the pair of them, they make life pretty damn perfect. And um, yeah, and I'm and I'm so blessed. And I wouldn't wish that anything different in this world, not at all. And sometimes, you know, we need to remind ourselves that because sometimes we can be short with our loved ones, can't we? We can pick the wrong words and sometimes unintentionally we can be hurtful. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm really, really not. Um, but yeah, if I do make a mistake, I'm quick to correct it. And I'm very, very thankful. And uh, yeah, they're very damn special. They really, really are. And um, yeah, dad's everything to me. And uh, and so is mum. Mum's everything to me. And the pair of them, well, they're a fine pair and I love them to pieces. Um, yeah, so what I want to get out there on this is that it doesn't have to be a loved one's birthday or Christmas or Easter or Mother's Day or Father's Day or anything like that at all. This life, sadly, which we live in, it is a fallen world. You've only got to turn on the television and you hear all the nasty things that go on in this world. And there's people out there to hurt one another and to harm one another. And we don't know what happens from one day to the next. And you know what? It's just like that. Actually, sometimes just take a moment. And actually, if you're in the very now and everybody's OK and everybody's well, it doesn't matter what you want or what you desire or what you aspire to do. But if everybody's well and everybody's healthy and you've got your family around you or your friends or, or your husband or your wife or whoever it is, and you are content and they're with you now, enjoy this moment. Enjoy the afternoon. Enjoy the evening. Enjoy the weekend. Always enjoy the very now, because none of us know what's just around the corner. And as I always say, none of us in this life are promised to tomorrow. And if we're blessed with another, then for heaven's sake, let's grab it with both hands and run with it. And let's cherish it and let's spoil it and let's love it. And yeah, let's just make it incredible. Parents, absolutely, absolutely incredible figures in our lives. And just to say, mum and dad, they bring great strength into my life. They've taught me absolutely everything. They've enriched my life with so many wonderful experiences. And I, as I say, I've had a very privileged upbringing and I've had experienced so many wonder, wonder, wonderful things. And um, they've always been there for me and they've pushed me along. They've pushed me to achieve. And I've had a lot of health problems. I've been very unlucky with health and they have always been there to every appointment to every bad news, to every good news, to each operation. Um, yeah, and they've got me out the other side, and they really, really have. And here I am sat here all smiling. And uh, yeah, absolutely ready to toast my father's very, very happy birthday. Okay, on that note, that was a little bit of my life sharing with you and what I've been doing today. I really hope that you're well, and I hope that everything is good for you. And my friend, if you're sat there thinking, why has probably gone into so much detail? Well, that is because I truly do feel that it's important for us to talk and for us sometimes to just be open and just to be content with ourselves and our lives. And sometimes the most simplest things in this world, just to take a moment and have a conversation with a loved one, whether it be mum or dad, nan, granddad, aunt, uncle, whoever it may be, is sometimes the most specialist thing you can ever do. And sometimes just giving somebody your time is just simply damn incredible. Okay, on that note, thanks very much for being here, and it meant the world to absolutely share this. And to my father, I wish you a very, very 
happy, happy birthday. God bless. I love you lots, Dad. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in a moment, I imagine. <laughs> okay, so everybody else, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing this with me. And until next time, God bless, take great care, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.